The biggest enemy in the developing world is poverty, for it denies people the access to reliable health services and affordable medicine. Pakistan is no stranger to this dilemma. In fact, according to a recent study done by the Social Policy and Development Center, over 70% of patients in Pakistan are unhappy with the care they receive. People often suffer from poor healthcare facilities, long wait times, miscommunication between medical staff and patients, and a general lack of care. Abdullah is one such victim. Soon after giving birth, Abdullah's wife succumbed to serious complications. The medical team had failed to explain the aftercare. The results were dire. It cost Abdullah not only his wife, but also left him with crushing financial loans. So, in 2007, I had to do it. In 5-6 years, we had to do it. 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 The dearth of quality healthcare is by no means limited to the lower economic groups. Those of a middle or higher socio-economic status suffer substantially too. A need for reliable and affordable healthcare facilities has become even more urgent as Lahore alone serves the greater province of Punjab. This is why an initiative like Saleem Memorial Trust Hospital is in need of the hour. When my father was unwell, I visited quite a few hospitals all over the world and I realized that there is a dearth of good hospitals in Pakistan and we needed a world-class medical facility in Lahore. When he passed away, we thought the best gift we could give our father was to build a hospital in his memory. So the idea of Saleem Memorial Trust Hospital originated from that. Salim Uncle spent a lot of his own uh, personal fortune on uh, charity work and most of it was done uh, anonymously. So I think this is a very good uh, way of continuing that legacy that Salim Uncle started. According to the World Bank, Pakistan ranks among the lowest five countries of the world in terms of expenditure on healthcare. Though the public sector is making an effort, the staggering population growth and rampant poverty leave a wide gap between the demand for good healthcare and healthcare provisions. We, the community, can fill this gap. Lahore is one of the few mega cities around the world which are direly, direly in need of high quality uh, medical facilities and the percentage of uh, population served by hospitals is one of the lowest around the world. I feel that there is a lot of tension, there is a lot of stress in people going to hospitals or getting medical treatment. And I see that a lot of that stress is coming from the system, the way our healthcare system is managed, the way our hospitals are being managed. जब सुबह उन्होंने मुझे बताया कि जी आप मेडिसिन और लाए तो मैंने कहा जी मैं तो रात को ले आया था उन्होंने मुझे कहा कि वो हमारे पास इमरजेंसी में दवाइयां नहीं थी तो हमने वो उनको लगा दी है जिस जगह पे हमारा बैठने को दिल नहीं करता उस जगह पे लोग बैठ के खाना खाते हैं उस जगह पे पेशेंट बैठे होते हैं उस जगह पे सब पेशेंट लेटे होते हैं जिस जगह पे इतने ज्यादा खटमल और जरासीम होते हैं जिनको डॉक्टर बचाते हैं ये जरासीम जो पेशेंट को ना लगे तो उनके वो ही हॉस्पिटल जो है ना वो गंदगी से भरे पे होते हैं तो वो पेशेंट कहाँ जाए उसके कौन सा इलाज हो सकता है फिर अगर डॉक्टर ने आकर गलती से वो दवाई लिख दी है तो फिर आपको नर्स नहीं मिलेगी टीका लगाने वाली अगर वो मिल गई है तो फिर गार्ड आ जाएगा कि चले चले बाहर निकले राश आई बिलीव सलीम मेमोरियल ट्रस्ट इज गोइंग टू बी डिफरेंट we can take out a large percentage of that stress by being committed to care, by being committed to a cause and that commitment is bigger than profit. It's not only about helping the poor, it's about changing the system. People who can make a comparison and say, look, if that hospital can provide this facility or can be very polite and courteous to a patient, why can't you do it? So I think our impact or change we want to make is going to be Inshallah, bigger than just Saleem Memorial Trust Hospital. The grey structure of Saleem Memorial Trust Hospital, a not-for-profit multi-speciality 350-bed hospital on the main canal road, is already complete. 
The hospital sprawls over 477,000 square feet and includes a modern six-story building with a long-term plan to establish a medical college and a nursing school. This state-of-the-art hospital will have internationally comparable modern healthcare services and facilities headed by a team of qualified doctors from across the globe. Established strictly as a not-for-profit entity, this hospital promises need-blind treatment with a socio-economic standing of the patient will have no impact on the quality of healthcare they would receive. You charge the affluent patients and whatever you make will then be given to the people who are in need. This should be the best general hospital in the city of Lahore run efficiently along modern lines with the best medical expertise available. This is something which will not only help people who need medical treatment and cannot afford it, it will be uh, an institution which you and I, if need be, can use for ourselves and we don't need to go abroad. I'd like to appeal to people to donate generously for this hospital because I feel this is the first of its kind which is being done on a scientific basis. And the people who are working for it are very special people and they will come up with a very great institution, which I'm very sure. The Salim family has already put up a substantial amount, but the sheer scale of this ambitious project requires generous contributions from its esteemed community members. You can create a lasting legacy by sponsoring our clinical departments, surgical suites, diagnostic facilities and support service areas. Every little bit helps. No donation is too small. It's a very uh, laudable objective and I hope people will, uh, will support it generously because uh, uh, no hospital or an effort of this kind can be a one-man show. It requires the support of the community and the people at large. The people who have the resources must support this hospital because uh, it promises to be something that is not there today. Together, we can build a better future. Let's start by making a contribution today.